Hello, spring. We are talking wedding showers, a brunch with the girls, and outdoor dinner parties. Here with me to show us how to make it all look beautiful is Nisia Emerson with Inspired Events. Hi, yes. Nisia. Hey, Thank girl. How are you? Thanks for that little <laughs> wink right there that just yeah. made my morning. <laughs> I'm absolutely loving everything that I'm seeing on this table right now, especially this you know, vase of fresh flowers. Can't go wrong with flowers. You cannot go wrong with fresh no, flowers. And, and also just bright colors. And I know all of us are really just looking forward to spring finally coming about. Here. Yes, it's so crazy when I was driving in in the rain. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm glad I'm bringing some spring to the studio this yes. morning because the rain, I'm so over it. But yeah, it's, so, it, I, I get excited about springtime. And of course, all the beautiful colors and the bright tones make me happy. So, so I'm looking forward to making this DIY plate that we can use as part of all of our dishes that we are going to be serving our food yes. you know when we have parties with our girlfriends wedding showers and all of that so how do we get started with this where First do we get all, this place you from? always yeah. want to be creative and kind of think out of the box mm -hmm. without breaking the bank i always stress that but these are actually plastic so really okay yeah i love this um, yeah so you do plastic plate or um even paper plates there's nice paper plates yeah. out there you can have some fun with it so with this particular one um, I actually took this plate and I added sticker name sticker um, names for our guests. And I love that because it's so personalized. It just yes. has that personal touch, right? So yes. people feel special. And you can find these in the scrapbook section at the craft store. Yeah. So it's so convenient. Put them on there. They could take the plate home. It's always easy to just a little giveaway for them to take home with them. So, so we're going to make one. I'm going to yes. make one yes. for my honey buns. Uh, ben is his name. Luckily, his name only has three letters to it. And, and you want to center it. Okay. So, yeah. we need so to center depending right on the here. length of the name, you just make sure <laughs> you're going Thanks far enough out it. yeah so center it in the center you want them to see their name first on when they're sitting okay oh that's e so easy and yeah. also i loved Maybe. even the um uh, the design of the plates because it has floral on it yes and that's what i love about it just finding something um to bring in the color that mm -hmm. you're going with and i always say even go to the Home Depot or Lowe's and get a color swatch and mm -hmm. pick out your colors for your table. I always like to stick with like three tones right? and then build on those colors. And so kind of like what I've done here with the terracotta and this. And I like this because all, all of this has such a uh, layer and dimension. Yes, I know you I love, love the, the word, word dimension. dimension. <laughs> yes, you did mention that. So we have our terracotta right here, which is so simple. You can just go to Home Depot and buy this. Yeah, right? I actually got these from Hobby Lobby. Oh, wow. And okay. they're just like the terracotta bottom, the plate to the pot that the pot sits on. Mm -hmm. And so I built, I, I turned it into a charger, basically. You could also use it as a plate, clean them really good. Yeah. And use them as a plate in the spring as well. They're great for outdoor parties. So I'm I'm already loving this whole uh, setup here because the linen uh, napkin just goes with the plate, yes. which goes with the terracotta, yes. and so you're building. already building. Yes, okay. the texture. So and how else are we building on and this And then I brought table? in the color, which okay. is similar to this. I brought in the color um, with these glasses that have a little bit more texture to them. Yes, I like so that. It like it's not, yeah. yeah, it complements the setting really well. You have to have a perfect layout of a setting. even if I know you love that. <laughs> So yeah. I love this purple because it does bring that out right here. Mm -hmm. And then we have our little mini candles. Please talk to me about these uh, the silver gold the silverware. Gold. These are actually antique gold silverware. Um, but yes, you can't go wrong with gold. I love gold, mm -hmm. a splash of gold, if y'all haven't noticed that already. I like silverware too, but I love goldware. Um, it just complements any design and it kind of dresses it up a little bit yeah, without absolutely. it being too overly done. So you can have fun and make more of a casual setting or you can get a little bit more elegant and bring in your gold wear. Yeah. But of course, for me, this is more outdoorsy spring wedding brunch or, you know, shower. Mm -hmm. And it's more fun for outside for outdoors. So and then talk to me about this floral arrangement, because this really yeah. feels like the eye catcher for me. Yes, of course, always going back to my Papa Pink. Yes. Now I got to bring in my Papa <laughs> Pink. I did do a lot of yellows here because okay. when I think springy, I do think yellows. I think the yellows the green tones like we've done in the plate here and building on those colors and it's just so vibrant and fun mm -hmm. this time of the year especially when the leaves um, the leaves are literally starting to bloom yes. flowers blooming and then you can kind of bring in those pops of color through your tablescape so so this is all really beautiful Nisia and I also know you have exciting news because you are opening up a new studio I in am. downtown Round yes. Rock can you tell us all about it yes I'm opening up the inspired studio mm -hmm. in downtown Round Rock the heart of downtown wow. Round Rock um, and it's 
it's a it's going to be a creative studio and workspace and there'll be a bake shop and boutique inside as wow. well yeah so it's going to be a lot of fun and we'll be able to set the table at all times for the community to come and have fun with us so yeah that's beautiful and i know that you really are all about inspired living so for our viewers at home who are looking for a little bit of inspiration mm -hmm. do you have a quick tip on how can people find their own inspiration for yes. their homes and their lives yes i always say color i go back to color Ooh, i like, love that color inspires me no matter where i am so outdoors of course i love being outside color being next to the water just bringing those colors out to anywhere you go you can find the inspiration for color and of course pinterest you can't get wrong go you wrong cannot with pinterest. go wrong with no. pinterest and color <laughs> thank you so much nisia for thank being you. here if you're feeling inspired to up level your next event go to inspired events and designs.com or give nisia a call at 512-917-7764 and be sure to check out their new studio at hello inspired studio dot com.